Central Illinois continues to be the best place to be for a traditional corn and soybean farmer. Bart Bittner meets that description. He grows corn and beans on his fifth-generation farm just east of Bloomington. Bittner and his farm colleagues in McLean County helped the county reclaim its top spot as the number one corn and soybean producer in the country last year. That's according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture's annual crop report. The top 10 counties with the highest corn yields were all in central Illinois. Bittner tells WGLT Ag correspondent Tim Alexander, one reason the crops grow so well here is good soil that drains well, but also holds enough water to help when rain is sparse. That was the case early last summer during a key part of the growing season. We were very pleased, especially given the way the year started. We were tremendously dry uh, in the month of June. Um, I hardly got any rain in the month of June, right at the end of June, beginning of July. Uh, we got a rain that really turned things around for us. But uh, we were very concerned um, towards the end of July about what what the rest of the year was going to bring. And then we got a pretty significant rain that kind of turned everything around. Uh, the one challenge that came with that rain was we had some wind damage in a few places. And uh, right around our home farm here, just east of the airport in Bloomington, we, uh, we got some pretty heavy winds that came with that rain. And uh, we had some corn that was five, six feet tall at the time. And uh, it... it laid it over pretty good. Uh, that corn was amazingly uh, able to stand itself up. And other than being, you know, elbowed over, uh, you know, partway through the, the row, um, we were able to get it harvested and, and uh, had a much better crop than what we thought we were going to have the way the season started. And we finished with ample moisture to have uh, better than trend line yields for, for us. And, and uh, certainly it wasn't a record year, but we had a very good year here. Now, two years ago, drought definitely affected some yields in central Illinois. But you take that year out of the equation, and it just seems like uh, today's hybrids are bouncing back from everything Mother Nature has to throw at them uh, to keep producing uh, great yields here in central Illinois. Are you one of those farmers where your uh, yields have been above trend line the last few years Yes, we have. We've been we've been very lucky, and and I think a lot of that goes to what you're suggesting, Tim, which is the technology of the of the seed that we're putting out there, the seed coatings that we're putting out there, and then you know the practices that we're we're putting in place. Uh, and you know we're learning every year uh, what works and what doesn't. But uh, um, yeah, we we've been very lucky. And again, it, uh, it it'd be really easy to to pat yourself on the back and say, wow, we just did a great job, but we're in such a, a tremendously good location here that, you know, consistently in a county that's one of the top producers um, in Illinois and in the, in the Midwest in general. And, uh, you know, one, because of the, the great soils we talked about and uh, uh, the great opportunities, but also, you know, we're a large county, McLean County. So uh, we represent a lot of a lot of crop acres, probably the most crop acres, I think, in, in the state of Illinois per county. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're very blessed to be where we're at. It is a large county uh, with with some very large farms uh, spread out throughout the countryside. Are McLean County farmers uh, close to each other as colleagues? Uh, do you guys share a lot of your secrets back and forth uh, to continue this uh, great growing condition in the area? Or is it more an insular, uh, singular endeavor? You know, I it, and I can only speak for the little part of the the county that, that we are in and represent, but we have tremendously great neighbors. Um, great neighbors. Some of them are partners in business with us, either through seed business or, or our chemicals or anything else that, you know, we may work through, but uh, um, it is not a, what I would call a cutthroat at, you know, when at any cost type of, of atmosphere around here, we, you know, we all respect each other and are, are trying to be good neighbors to each other and um, really are, you know, very lucky that we have the friends and neighbors that we have. And um, uh, I, you know, really value the input I get from from our neighbors and and uh, have learned a lot from from several of them and uh, so yeah it it is a it is a very positive environment and, and one that I'm really pleased my my sons are, are interested in coming back to in fact they're already involved um, with some off-farm uh, work uh, through internships and jobs that have been with some of the local people we talk about that are that are people we work with in the area so tremendous opportunities uh, around this area and uh, also tremendous people. That was McLean County farmer Bart Bittner speaking with WGLT Ag correspondent Tim Alexander. Bittner says he has two sons in college, one who plans to graduate in May, and they plan to continue the family legacy as six-generation farmers.